What is going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker and this is the third episode of the show. Today we are talking about bourbon again and the bourbon of choice today is going to be Russell's Reserve 10 Year. Russell's Reserve 10-Year is a 10-year bourbon by the makers of Wild Turkey Distillery. Here in New Jersey, I found it for roughly $32, and you can literally find this on any shelf in any liquor store that you go to. It's right there next to Wild Turkey 101, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, Wild Turkey Original, Wild Turkey Honey. It's right there next to it. But it's, it's not specifically labeled Wild Turkey. It's, it's labeled the Russell's Reserve 10-Year. So widely available, but it is also comparable to its counterpart by Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, which is also a 10-year um, aged bourbon. But you'd be lucky enough to find that bottle if you sold your soul to the devil. So let's break into the Russell's Reserve and see what we can find. Grab your Glen Cairn glass, take your bourbon, do a little pour, just a little bit, probably about an ounce. I'll close it up. Looking at the color here, it's very, very amber. It's very, very amber when you're looking at it in the glass. Put it on the side, very, very light amber. When you bring it down, you're looking at it in the bottle, it's a little bit darker, but definitely a nice, beautiful amber color that it has going on for it. Swirl it around a little bit. Give a nice close up shot for you guys. Nice amber color. But let's get into what we smell. Okay, right off of the bat, it's oaky, very oaky. Vanilla. Caramel. But it's heavy on the oak. It's very, very heavy on the oak. Toffee a little bit. Back in there, it's a little, you get a little pepper note. It smells really good. I really like it. It's very complex. Man, I want to get a taste on this thing. Cheers, guys. First taste. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, creamy, very creamy. Just, uh, man, that is good stuff. Heavy on the oak, very heavy on the oak. So if you're not an oak fan, you're not gonna be an, a fan of the Russell's Reserve because it is, it's very oak dominant. But after it settles on your tongue for a little bit and you get that, it, it's, a, it's a slower finish. I'm getting uh, vanilla, I'm getting caramel, I'm getting coffee. Uh, cherry a little bit there on the end of the finish there, like a sweeter cherry. Um, mm, let's go in for another step. Let it sit on your tongue for a little bit. You're getting those baking spices, like a lighter rye almost with the cinnamon and the spice. Um, this is a 45% 90 proof. From father to son, the bourbon making mastery represented in this bottle is a true testament to their distilling legacy and the strength of family tradition. More than 90 years, that's the combined tenure of master distillers Jimmy and his son Eddie Russell. They hand select barrels after at least 10 years of aging, resulting in a bourbon that delivers a balance of rich, spicy vanilla flavors. Their experience guarantees yours. Yeah, I'm getting the vanilla a little bit, but it's not the very dominant flavor. Like I said earlier, it's the oak that's there and then the vanilla, but it, it stands out as more of like the heavier spices, more like a rye would be, but it's not. But with rye having to be 51% rye and bourbons having to be 51% corn, I'd say that this is a step into the rye if you want to get into the rise, this is the one that you want to try and go for to see if you like that heavier spice note. This is definitely really good. 
after the third taste, settled in on my palate a little bit. It's the first thing I've had for a little bit. And I'm getting that spice, that it's super spicy with the cinnamon, getting that caramel, but man, it is so good. It is so, so good. Man, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's a very nice sipper. I'd say for like cold winter day, you go in with the Russell's Reserve. It's, it's I haven't seen many, I've, I looked, I looked it up online to see if there are a lot of people that recommend it. And a lot of people don't recommend it because of the Wild Turkey Rare Breed and it only being a couple dollars more than this. But if you wanna step up your game and expand a little bit, go for this, it, it, go for this. It's not much more expensive and it's a little bit more complex than the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. And I mean, man. It's a thick whiskey. Very, very, oh man. I'm liking that a lot. That's good stuff. I recommend this highly, 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 highly. Cause I'm getting toffee, I'm getting the caramel, I'm getting the vanilla, I'm getting the, a slight, slight um, uh, dark cherry note in there. Whew, that is some good stuff right there. So, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Please like, comment, and if you enjoy it and you wanna come back, subscribe. I'm here once a week. This is Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.